lifelong dream to see mountain gorillas in their natural habitat. Ever since learning about them in grade school, then as an adult reading Diane Fossey's Grills in the Mist sealed the deal. Mountain gorillas can only survive in their natural habitat. So trekking into their native forests, like Uganda's Buwindi and Penetrable Forest, is your only chance to see these gorillas in the wild. There are strict regulations in place, like the Uganda Gorilla Trekking Permit requirements, to ensure the health and safety of these animals. On our way to the Bawindi Impenetrable Forest in Uganda. Bawindi is home to 700 of the last remaining mountain gorillas in the wild. Bawindi is recognized by the United Nations as a World Heritage Site for its biological significance. There are two populations of mountain gorillas left in the wild. The first is in Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The other is in Uganda. Kampala. Kampala is the capital of Uganda. Since the 13th century, Kampala has been the capital of the Buganda Kingdom, way before the British ever colonized Uganda. We're now on the Nayutembe Road heading to Buwindi. From Kisoro, the main road turns into a very rough dirt road that we were on for more than three and a half hours. The most common building material in Uganda is locally made brick known as village brick. At this brick factory, this type of brick has been produced in a similar way for thousands of years. Finally, we made it. Now the hard part. Our hike started winding our way through black tea plantations, little hamlets, villages. The park is surrounded by farms and plantations, which the gorillas raid, making gorilla-human conflict a continual problem that threatens conservation efforts. Human guerrilla conflict is a thorny subject. Damage to crops, financial loss, and physical harm are just some of the potential dangers that local people face. The guerrillas confront risks as well, including harassment or even death in retaliation for crop damage, as well as the danger of diseases contracted from humans or livestock. The jungle was very dense, lush, and verdant. At some points, the trail became incredibly steep as we descended down into the ravine on our narrow little path. The vines created a very cinematic, dare I say, Tarzan-like setting. Our guides cut away the creepers and vines with this machete. The light dappled through the thick canopy of trees overhead and underfoot, a muddied undergrowth, millipedes, prehistoric looking ferns and fungi. deeper we forged into the jungle, it reminded me that, yes, we were deep in the home of another creature entirely.
our first encounter was with this adolescent. Keep it doing. Just eating bamboo and picking vines, stripping leaves off the vines, getting those tasty morsels. The raw, sheer power. Juxtaposed with the mother's love and care for her young. The mother comforts and cradles her child in her arms. And now this cutie grabs a quick snack. I've seen silverbacks on TV, in the movies, and in captivity, but nothing compares to experiencing this majestic animal on his own turf, overwhelming all of our senses. Wherever the gorillas travel, they're always followed by a mass of swirling flies. It's incredible watching this 600 pound animal. So strong, defiant, just disappear back into the jungle without a sound. The silverback crossed right in front of me, about a foot and a half away. I could smell him. He could sense me, but I knew that with one wave of his arm, I'd be done for. Over the next few hours, we observed the gorillas interacting. We watched as they ate, stripping off choice leaves from hanging vines. The adolescent gorillas tumbling over each other, playfully wrestling, <laughs> making a racket. Their mothers appeared to scold the youngsters and tried to tell them what's what long enough so that they could sit down and eat. They spent countless hours grooming each other, picking flies and fleas and ticks. In the meantime, the silverback watched the raucous without much interest as he devoured his own meal of leaves. And again, swarms of flies follow them everywhere.
a real live jungle gym in the wild. So David, seen the gorillas? Gorilla trekking in Uganda was one of the most incredible and most memorable travel experiences of my life so far. We were incredibly fortunate to be able to experience this and can only hope that you can one day as well. Oh, that's a good one. 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 Oh, that's a good one.